Welcome to Monster Peace Theater. I am Dr. Ian is not a movie critic. I would like to talk to you today about a film called Destination Outer Space. Now, Destination Outer Space is the fifth film in a series by Christopher R. Mim. Now, to understand this film, we need to look at a little bit of the background of his prior films. Now, Christopher R. Mim, when he was a little boy, used to watch these movies with his father, George. And George and Chris would watch these movies, which were 1950s, 1960s monster movie genre films, and they would just have a great, excellent experience together. Well, after Chris's father, George, died, he decided to get together with some friends and make a movie to dedicate to his father. And that movie ended up being his first movie in the series called The Monster of Phantom Lake. Well, unbeknownst to him, Christopher found that he just picked up fans from left and right all over the place that really wanted to him to continue making these films. He picked up a fan base, you see, and once he decided, found out how much people loved these films, he decided to just keep making them. Well, there was a few things about the movies that you should know about, which would help you understand what is going on in Destination Outer Space. For one, it is a black and white movie. Christopher wanted the movies to emulate what was going on in the 1950s, 1960s monster movies. You cannot have that same feeling if you have a modern day uh, color movie. It just won't work. So he wanted to have it simulate that. You will notice a lot of the same types of look and feel as those era movies. Another thing Christopher wanted was to have really interesting monsters, which I must say, he has these monsters with big eyes. It seemed to catch on really well in the first movie. And then after the first movie, he just continued to make sure that he had something going on with the eyes of the monsters. So, if you notice what's up with the eyes, it's because Christopher wanted to make sure that was carried through. Another thing that Christopher wanted to have in the movies is that he had a big fascination with movies such as Star Wars, the Star Trek movies, and also Ghostbusters. So you will notice throughout the movies there are one-liners from those movies. It really adds to the humor of the film. Another thing is you will find that there's something going on with flashlights. What is up with the flashlights? Well, after viewing all five Christopher Mim films, I realized it all started in the beginning. Let's take a look at the flashlight humor. George? I'm going. I'm going. As I'll ever be. Happy hunting. And remember, should you come across any, the bats are more frightened of you than you are of they. Ready to go? 
Did he just say bats? Yes. Well, wasn't that funny? So, there is also a lot of backstory in the film that you need to pay attention to. There's quite a bit of dialogue which explains what has happened between films with certain characters. You do not need to have watched all of Christopher R. Min's films to be able to enjoy just one of them. You make sure that the film is made for people that have followed him all the way through the series and also people that are new to the series. So I hope this has helped accentuate your movie going experience. And I hope that my explanation of certain the elements of Destination Outer Space will help you enjoy your time watching the film. Have a good night. This is Dr. Ian Is Not, a movie critic. Goodbye.